to the beach this weekend? Don't forget to lather yourself up with sunscreen. Looking at the wide range of sunscreens available today, have you ever wondered who actually invented it? While sunscreens did not exist back in ancient times, the origins of sun protection products date back to antiquity. Our ancestors knew that sun exposure could harm their bodies in different ways. Throughout history, they have devised medicines and protective attires to shield themselves from the scorching sun. The first documented use of sun protection began with the ancient Egyptians, who used mixtures of plant extracts such as rice bran, jasmine, and lupine to protect themselves from the sun and to soothe their skin from sunburns. While natural sun protection remedies were already found in ancient civilizations, it wasn't until the 20th century that the first synthetic chemical sun protection arrived in the U.S. and modern-day sunscreens were invented. And just like all inventions, there were multiple key figures to the story. It all started out with H.A. Milton Blake, an Australian chemist who began experimenting with sun protection in the 1930s. Blake spent years in his kitchen trying to incorporate a sun protection substance into a cream base to be applied to the skin. Subsequently, a sunburn cream was developed and Blake founded Hamilton Laboratories. Around the same time in 1938, a Swiss chemistry student named Franz Greider was inspired to develop sunscreen after suffering from a bad sunburn during his climb at Mount Pisbuen. Greider put his chemistry knowledge to use and came up with Glacier Cream, Glacier Cream, which had an SPF2 rating. It was eventually brought over by a company called Pisbuen. Meanwhile, the famous chemist Eugene Schuler, founder of L'Oreal, tasked his chemist to develop a sunscreen formula in the year 1936 to combat his frequent sunburns from sailing. Then, in 1944, American pharmacist Benjamin Green came up with his own sunscreen while serving as an airman in World War II. He used Red Veterinary Petrolatum, or Red Vet Pet, to protect himself and other soldiers from ultraviolet rays. Soon after the war, Green added cocoa butter and coconut oil to the concoction, and this would later become Coppertone Suntan Lotion, which is still sold in many pharmacies worldwide. As we look back upon the history of sunscreens, it is difficult to attribute the invention to a single individual or country. But what we do know is that we couldn't be more grateful for their invention of sunscreens, especially living in Singapore, where the weather is warm and humid all year round. Prolonged, unprotected sun exposure remains one of the leading factors for premature aging and skin cancer. A broad-spectrum sunscreen of at least SPF 50 and PA Triple Plus is perhaps still one of the most effective yet inexpensive protection against those harmful UV rays. We have new videos weekly, so remember to subscribe to our channel and other social media accounts as well.